What's going on guys? It's the real Mr. Squid here. Today we're back playing on the Nano SMP server. I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm having a good day. So we're starting here at the Thanksgiving table because it's the holidays and stuff. And I thought I could, um, you know, show you guys what I put in this book right here. Because I know, uh, you know, we went over this area a little bit last episode. But I thought it'd be nice to show you guys what I put in the book because everyone was supposed to write what they're thankful for. You know, a couple things you might be thankful for. So I put... I am thankful to play on such a nice server with an amazing community, and I'm also thankful for my doggos because they are as cute as a button. <laughs> I do love my doggos. So, speaking of the server, I feel like there's a couple things I should tell you guys about, and that is, you know, it also has to do with this series. Um, this server is going to be transitioning over to the new version of Minecraft that's coming out uh, at the end of the month here. So this world is going to be wiped, it's going to be a fresh start, it's going to be nice, a new fresh slate to play on. I'm pretty excited, especially for all the stuff that's coming in the new update. Um, but yeah, it's it's really nice because uh, when I joined this server, everyone was already kind of advanced. And I didn't really get to, you know, I was playing catch up, but now it's going to be a race. The race to the, to the cool stuff, you know, it's all the new stuff to play around with it. It's going to be fun, I'm pretty excited. I also, because this is the last episode, you know, when we're wiping the slate pretty uh, uh, clean, I have done a couple things off camera that I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to wrap them up since I'm running pretty short on time here. So, first things first, the base. So, uh, with the base, I thought I could, with the work I've done, I thought I could show you guys the way I wanted you to experience it. So, I've done just enough work to show you the final product and what it should look like. Well, almost. And I thought uh, the coolest way to see it would be through the tunnel as we're coming up on it. Hopefully it looks cool through the tunnel. I really hope so. <laughs> Let's see. I don't even know. We might not even be able to see it. Let's see. We went too fast. Oh, we didn't get to see it. Dang it. Well, either way, I love that tunnel. Look at this. It looks cute and derpy and it's hilarious. The scale's ridiculous. I'm pretty happy with it. I know I didn't get to fully finish it. You know, because these were actually supposed to be rooms, these arms, and the bow tie could use a little work. But overall, I'm pleased with it. It looks hilarious. And also, if you had a keen eye, you might have seen there. I actually did not have enough concrete to finish this. This is kind of like a showroom. Like, you know, like you look at it and it looks good, but then if you look behind the scenes, it's actually not finished at all. Kind of like a show house. <laughs> I, uh, I did what I could. In the time I had and the resources I could collect. Oh my goodness, it looks spooky in here. But this is what it was going to look like uh, in its final uh, stand, you know, in its final place. But yeah, look at this. Look at that face. Look at that face. That's <laughs> that is the face of a giant squid. It's hilarious. Pop back over to the gun gunpowder farm so we can just show that off too. Kind of like a world tour video, kind of not. <laughs> I just love going through the tunnel. Just an excuse to go through the tunnel, really. Right in some creepers that are probably here. Nope. <laughs> Thank goodness we're lucky there. This farm made us get a bunch of diamonds. This thing was awesome. Super effective. I was super happy to use it. And then later when we made the sugar cane farm, I know you guys didn't get to really see that. But this thing's crazy effective. If you remember, this is a Tango Tech design. I think it is? Yeah. I remember correctly. I always had mobs spawning in here, even after I lit it up. I don't know why. I felt like it was lit enough, but I guess not. Ouch. Dang it. And then uh, Neneo went on to make it look nice and fancy with a, a building, and uh, she added the disc farm with our guy over there. How do I... There he is. That's power five. That hurts. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I can't forget about the gaming district. Now, I know you guys didn't get to see me have too much fun here, but you did get to see me, uh, you know, do the quiz, and that was super cool. That quiz was a lot of fun. I uh, definitely tested my Minecraft knowledge. I thought I knew a little bit more about the game. Turns out, <laughs> I did not. I, I potions, t potions were a tricky topic for me. Also, um, some of the newer mobs, like stuff about rabbits and stuff about like the the hoglins, I believe they're called. Yeah, I should uh, I should really study up. <laughs> but nevertheless, 
you know, you know your boy Squid. You know he won. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And all those starting resources from winning really helped me out with my base and stuff, and that was awesome. Also, let's play some tic-tac-toe real quick. That's the uh, that's actually a lottery building that a uh, guy on the server named Chief built. Well, he built the lottery. The outside of it, I believe, was designed by Nanao. But yeah, this is a tic-tac-toe game. Bam. Bam. And that's a win. Nice. Nor could we forget the shopping district. Another place where I've spent a lot of time. Shopping. Selling. Shopping and selling. Oh, oh, the memories. <laughs> Let's hop over to the, uh, one last time. Let's hop over to our rocket shop and see what we're doing on profits. Mmm. Red. That's too bad. Nice looking shop, too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know I pay too much. LOL. Dang it. All these people be paying too much. Yeah, if you guys are on a server that ever has like a shop system, you know, like kind of like how we do, definitely rockets are the way to go. <laughs> rockets are a great way to get stuff. Why can I not go down? There we go. <laughs> I was super happy with this shop. It was a little hard to get, you know, but uh, once you had the gunpowder farm and the sugarcane farm, it's uh, it's really just sitting there and waiting for the resources to come to you. It's awesome. I've gotten a lot of useful things from this area. Most of it concrete. A lot of it enchanted books. Some of it pork chops. <laughs> Love me a good pork chop. Um, where should we head to next? Oh my goodness, probably where I spent the most time on the server. Maybe? Potentially? The end. Probably in the end, standing in this exact spot. Slapping these dang endermen. I have slayed so many endermen standing at this awesome farm. So much XP? Ridiculous. Let's take a look. I just want to look at the stats real quick. Mobs. Oh my goodness, you guys didn't see that. I didn't kill an axolotl. Where is it? Enderman. Look at this. 166,419 Enderman. Like, what? Man, that monthly challenge was crazy. Let's turn this bad boy on one last time. Come on through, boys. Oh, you're loud. This is why I like to slay you, because you're too dang loud. <laughs> oh, man. Also, I, th I think I've shown you guys the full end. Everyone did a lot of work on the end before, like, I joined, where they, um, they made it all nice and, like, spawn-proof and slabbed it up and made it pretty. I bet this took ages. This is just a giant area. It's ridiculous. Um. Oh, I almost forgot about the Halloween district. It was just Halloween. I was just a vampire squid. Let's hop over there. What a pumpkin. What a pumpkin. <laughs> also, this maze was super tough. I never beat this maze. I guess I'm just not a maze person. I always, you know, I always thought, uh, you know, when you're in a maze, uh, it's always uh, right to go left. You know? The right way to go is the left. But uh, that did not help me in this maze. <laughs> it did not help me in this maze at all. So maybe I need to come up with a new maze strategy. Oh, look at that. And now it looks like more organic. Wow, that's a lot of leaves placed. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. The parkour was pretty fun. I didn't do too much of it. Mm, I'll just show off a little bit of my parkour skills real quick on this drip leaf, of course. Um, but, okay, wow. That's... Yeah, that, that didn't happen. You didn't see that. Bam, bam. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, see? I promise that was that was that was one take. I promise. I swear. I promise. <laughs> Let's see if we can do a little more. Oh, uh, bam, bam. Am I just supposed to. All oh, right. Okay. I'm supposed to hop on this. Okay. I'm an expert. Clearly. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> Not an expert. But parkour is always, you know, kind of fun. 
So there's one last thing I want to show you guys before we wrap up today's video because it's going to be a bit of a shorter one. And that is a surprise. A surprise, guys. Okay, guys, here we are. And I thought a pretty cool way to, uh, you know, come to the end of this episode would be to come over to the Secret Challenges area and give you guys a really easy challenge for the end of this video. And that is to have a really nice and happy holiday. And that's, you know, it's, even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving or anything around there, just have a good day, you know? Just have a really nice, happy day. And I wanted to say for me to you guys that I am very thankful for all of you for watching, liking, your comments. They bring me so much happiness and, you know, they just really warm my heart. So for me to you guys, thank you. And have a good one. Until next time, guys. Peace out.